Before the night is done, before the line is drawn, before it's too late to wonder what went wrong. I've been thinking about how people relate to each other, how important it is to share, especially with someone you love. To lose that person because you didn't communicate would be a truly sad thing. Daybreak, another new day. I first became aware of Daybreak through a Chet Baker recording, and I just knew that this was an underexposed joyride of a song. For it's daybreak, the sun's in the sky now, and flowers break through their blanket of dew. One of my first three LPs I ever owned was a Carly Simon album. Riverboat Gambler has always been one of my favorite, very provocative tracks of hers. And we took a slightly different approach than the original, a little darker, a little more noirish. Riverboat Gambler, hiding that ace up your sleeve. I can see through all that debonair style, the irony bending your smile. Recording with Stevie Holland was a particularly satisfying experience. Every note that she sings it has a, a great deal of meaning and a great deal of unique feeling to it. And that's what makes her a very special and a, and a really a true jazz artist. It's a lazy afternoon And the beetle bugs are zooming And the tulip trees are a lazy afternoon. I've recorded that song maybe nine or ten times as a veteran jazz producer, but she did the most beautiful and most heartfelt and artistically interesting interpretation of that ballad that I've ever recorded. It's a lazy afternoon. I think we reached an emotional and an artistic level that I have seldom reached with that song, though I've been recording it for over 30 years. So that's a mark of how excellent this recording really is. Now that you've done the karaoke, you'll never care to do the polka. And then you read. I've been singing karaoke as long as I can remember. I thought it was the sexiest dance that Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers ever did together. We wanted to find a contemporary approach to the song, but couldn't resist the lure of that classic Latino jazz sound. But when you dance it with a new love, there'll be true love just for you. When you have Gary William Friedman in the arranger's chair, a composer of symphonic works, film scores, Broadway musicals, whose roots are in jazz, even the sparest chart, whether it's a melodic motif or a rhythmic approach, is going to make a very special statement. How much do I love you? I'll tell you no lie. One thing that's really important about all great jazz, it shares the quality of telling a unique story in a unique way and hopefully touching a few hearts along the way. And this record has that in abundance and you can hear the love of the music in every note that radiates from this recording. There's a lot of love and a lot of ingenuous, real good feeling about it. Oh, but I don't really mind his way With all the insanity going on in the world, I sometimes question whether I shouldn't be focusing on something other than songs of love and romance. But I believe deeply that you've got to start with the basic relating between two people. And if there's love there, well, that's the bedrock for love everywhere. Let's talk about it before love.